Do you feel the vibes? Today I want to talk to you about a feature inside of Lightroom called the Auto Mask. Basically, the Auto Mask is a pretty cool way of controlling exactly where an adjustment is going to be applied. With that said, where do you find the Auto Mask is the first thing I want to address. If you look over here to the right, just above the Basics panel, you have an Adjustment Brush, you have a Radial Filter, and you have a Graduated Filter. And the Auto Mask lives in each one of these features. The auto mask works the same no matter which feature you're using. So for today's demonstration, I'm gonna use the graduated filter to apply my adjustment and then you show you how the auto mask works in order to remove the adjustment from the parts of the photograph where I don't want it to be shown. Let's jump in and show you exactly what it is I'm talking about. So first let's start by grabbing the graduated filter and making a couple of adjustments we're going to increase our exposure, we're gonna increase our shadows, we're gonna add a little clarity, some dehaze, and some saturation. Now all of these features can be changed, so it really doesn't matter what I'm applying or how much I'm applying, because all of this can be changed after the fact. I just wanna see something happen when I apply the graduated filter. Now that I have some adjustments built in, I'm gonna click and drag, and you, you can see immediately that these adjustments are beginning to take effect. For us, where it is turning red is where the adjustment is going to be applied. So that includes not only the building, but you can also see that the sky has also turned red. And this in here lies the problem because I don't want the sky being affected. I really only want the parts of the building to be affected in this adjustment, not the sky. So what I need to do is go in and remove the parts of adjustment from the sky. But if you don't do this properly, it could get a little messy. So to remove the adjustment, we're gonna head on up and click on the brush tool. And this is gonna bring up a panel of adjustments. And these adjustments are basically just to control the brush that's now being implemented. With this brush, I can continue to add more adjustments or I can choose to erase the adjustment. So I'm gonna click on the eraser and I'm gonna to begin to brush on all the parts of the red that I don't want. Now, this is where the auto mask comes into play because as I get close to the building, if I go too close, you'll notice that it's actually going to remove the adjustments from the building, which is exactly what I don't want to happen. So instead, I'm gonna undo that change and I'm gonna go down here and select auto mask. And the minute that I turn the auto mask feature on, this is gonna control or help control where I'm brushing or where I'm removing the adjustment from. And as I go along the exterior of this building, so you can see how nice and controlled this works. This auto mask feature is doing a fantastic job of making sure that the building remains but everything else goes away. I'm gonna continue doing this up here. And that looks pretty outstanding. So the auto mask feature has done a really good job of helping ensure that the adjustment stays on the buildings, but helps us carve out all of the other areas that we don't want included in this adjustment. I'm gonna hit the letter O so that this red overlay goes away. And now I'm just looking at the adjustment as it is, and I can go back into my panel and make any further changes that I need or that I want based on the photograph itself maybe pull this exposure back down just a little bit. And you can see how wonderful that looks as it's just being applied to the building and nowhere else. And so if I turn the graduated filter off, here's a quick before and after, before and after. And with the auto mask, we've been able to remove the adjustment from the parts of the photograph that we don't want it to apply. And as stated before, this auto mask feature is in the radial filter. You just click on the brush and it's also in the adjustment brush section down at the bottom. When you choose erase, you can auto mask from here as well. So that's it for today's photo tip. Hopefully you enjoyed this and will find it useful in your editing. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And as always, we appreciate your support. Subscribe to this channel where you get lots more videos coming to you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.